So welcome everybody to New Douglas Park in Hamilton for today's SWPL clash between Hamilton Ackies and Rangers. Now today it really is a beautiful day for a game of football, with two teams desperately keen to have three points for different reasons. Lining up for Hamilton Ackies this afternoon, we have the same team that had a spirited performance against Celtic last week. So Karis Hopkins retains the spot in goal. And then number four is Danny Connolly, number five, Kirsty Fraser, number six, Jade Lindsay, number seven, Emma Lyons, number eight, Amy Anderson, number nine, Cody Hay, number 10, Laurie Gardner, 14, Jill Ingalls, who's also the captain, number 15, Katie Rice, and number 17, Barry Lyle. Today, in uh, goal for Rangers, they had Jade Bailey, then we have number three, Amy Muir, number five, Lauren Gallen, number eight, Holly Napier, 10, Lisa Swanson, 12, Sarah Robertson, 14, Hayley Sinclair, 15, Terry Donnelly, 17, Claire Gemmel, who's also the captain, 19, Jade Gallen, and 23, Leah Eddy. So, referee Ian Hart gets the game underway and it's sunglasses at the ready and a lovely sunny day here at the New Douglas Park Stadium. Rangers have the ball on the right-hand side but that just goes out and that'll be a Hamilton throw. So, Amy Muir, she signals for a ball into the box. She'll take this right-footed. Movement in and around the six-yard ball. ball comes in. It needs to be one in the air, and it is done. It needs to be one in the air again, and it's floating anywhere. There's a chance here for the chance for the opening score, but just still anybody's ball could go anywhere. We need to clear at Hamilton. Eventually, it comes clear by Amy Anderson. So, two or three chances. Ball ricketing around in that six-yard area. Panic stations for everyone. Chance for Rangers to open the scoring, but a chance also for Hamilton to clear the ball. Eventually it goes to safety, but a worrying time for the Hamilton defence. Lisa Swanson comes looking. She's ignored. Sarah Robertson's there. Still no movement. And then Holly Napier. That's one for Hamilton to try and tidy up. Holly Napier. She's forced back by Emma Lyons. She gets onto her left foot. And it looks like that just struck the arm. Close to the edge of the box there. So... Hamilton did well to close down that attempted shot. But of course, the hands were quite high. Thankfully though, it was just made contact on the edge of the box and just outside. The referee Ian Hart well positioned to make that call. It's another worrying time for Hamilton though, because there'll be a chance for a shot at goal. It's much closer and much flatter. So this time Hamilton have four and five in the wall and Karis Hopkins has to guard the left hand's right hand side of her goal as she stands. So Jade Gallen takes a good ball. Claire Gemmel in attendance. Let's see what will happen here. So here it comes, left footed, chipped over. And that's an excellent goal from Claire Gemmel. Because what she did there was she motioned like she was going to strike it firmly. Everybody was expecting the firm shot. And she chipped it very handily over the wall. Just past Cara Hopkins' left hand into the corner of the net. So very clever goal there by the Rangers captain. And that opens the scoring. And they take the lead by one goal to nil. So Jill Ingalls. Laurie Gardner comes short and then takes the head over. That was hands in the back by Jade Gallen, but the referee says that was fair enough. So now Rangers can build again. Goalkeeper fires that long ball on the right-hand side. It's good control there by Rangers. They now have a chance to build an attack. So Lisa Swanson already shown she's got good touch on the ball. Sarah Robertson now has it. The ball comes into the box. That's one for Kirsty Fraser to deflect. She's done so. Laurie Gardner tries to come short. Needs to be one in there at Hamilton. Haley Sinclair dispossessed by Emma Lyons. There must be a break on here. Barry Lyle has Laurie Gardner. She has a chance to get forward, come in on the first touch. But then Amy Muir's closed her down. But Laurie Gardner's still in possession. There's a ball back here. A chance here for a shot and goal. That's better play Hamilton. So good movement there because the ball was won around the halfway line. It was played up wide into the channel. Laurie Gardner showed her pace and did well to get a chance. She's a chance to deliver this ball in, right-footed. Hamilton have four players attacking the ball, and it comes, that's a near post, and that's going to be one for Laurie Gardner to go up there. There's a header on goal, Jade Lindsay. 
And Jade Bailey, she jumps up, collects it with two hands. Encouraging signs for Hamilton. Shot on target. Could easily have leveled the score. So Haley Sinclair's first touch is back. To Leah Eddy. Jade Lindsay's head flick is up in the air. Kirsty Fraser collects it. Claire Gemmell's dispossessed by Emma Lyons and then gets the foot in to stop the pass. Cody Hay now has it. She does a back heel and there will be time and space that's short for Jill Ingalls. She's closed down by Haley Sinclair. Amy Anderson on the ball. She finds Cody Hay. Cody Hay lofts it in. There's a break of the ball, could go anywhere. Laurie Gardner goes to ground. Then Jade Gallen plays it in. That's a chance now for Rangers to come forward. Amy Anderson comes back. Jade Lindsay reads it well. Now there's a pass on. Emma Lyons gives it to Vary Lyle. But that's deflected away by Jade Gallen. Although Katie Rice has it. She feeds it in. Lauren Gallen this time wins the break of the ball. But that's a heavy touch. Jalyn goes all the way through there. That gives Rangers a chance to clear it. Haley Sinkler's first touch is good. Jalyn goes is all over the back of her. Manages to pick up the ball. Plays it into Vary Lyle. She now can pass, but Laurie Gardner had gone the wrong way, so that caught her off balance. Kirsty Fraser needs to watch the flight of the ball. She can have to use the goalkeeper. There's time now for Karis Hopkins to come to the ball. Gives it back to Kirsty Fraser. Shows a good chest and control. That ball goes up the touchline. Cody Hay does come for it, but the ball breaks. And that'll be Jade Gallen giving it to her twin sister, Lauren Gallen, number five for Rangers. That then finds its way to Terry Donnelly. They go all the way forward. Rangers building on the right-hand side now. So back to the halfway line. Ball plays forward. That's a good touch in there. Holly Napier now has it. She plays it back to Claire Gemmell. She sweeps it wide right. That's Haley Sinclair now in possession. She goes on the overlapping run to Leah Eddy. The ball might come in here on the left foot, but Leah Eddy decides to turn back on her right. Then she flights it back. So that's the Rangers captain plays it inside. Haley Sinclair trying to get onto the right foot and then sends it wide right, so that'll be a chase for Katie Rice. Katie Rice has it. She closes down, but Amy Muir goes on her outside. There could be a ball come into the box, and it comes. Keeper needs to collect that one, and just about does. That will be at the expense of a corner. So it's a good passage of play over the last five minutes. Ball in play for much of the time. Pass is going to feet. Both teams having a chance. So good entertainment for the fans that have come in to watch the game today. So Danny Connolly, one in the air, but she gets the ball back. Danny Connolly plays it forward. Laurie Gardner's touch is good. She plays a nice ball into Vary Lyle. There's an overlap here. Vary Lyle plays in. There's a chance for Katie Rice. The keeper comes out very quickly and does well for Rangers. Good play by Hamilton. Chance there. Just a fraction of an angle that beat a Hamilton player. So Rangers build on the left-hand side, Lauren Gallen. She strides forward, plays it right-footed over the head of Jill Ingalls. That's a good ball indeed for Sarah Robertson to chase. She's faced up by Kirsty Fraser, but it's a chance of shooting the right foot. It's a tremendous goal there by Rangers. So Sarah Robertson did very well to come inside the defender, get onto her right foot, and she unleashed a very strong shot from the corner of the box that was on its way up into the roof of the net before Karis Hopkins can get across to palm it over. So, that's an excellent goal for the Rangers side. A very well struck ball indeed by the goal scorer. That makes it 2-0 to Rangers. Chantel Brown assessing her options. And it comes. Jade Gallant goes outside Emily Bullock. There's a chance to get the ball into the box. It's a tremendous ball in. There's a chance here for Rangers. A great turn and shot by the captain. So she did very well there because the ball was the other side of the goal. The first touch was in the air and then it came down and she turned very quickly and she dispatched that with her left foot just beating Karis Hopkins on her right-hand side. But I have to say, that was a good goal by the Rangers captain and that extends the lead to 3-0. So Amy Bullock, she tries to get it back to Emily Shearer, and she does, but Rogan Hay then shows good foot speed yet again. She finds Haley Sinclair. She does a little trick and then plays it forward. Rogan Hay has a chance here to come in on goal. Jade Lindsay is trying to... That's a great effort there by Brogan Hay. 
So you have to say that was a beautiful finish by the Rangers player. The ball came up the left-hand side of the field. Jade Lindsay went across the cover. But Brogan Hay managed to come inside the defender. And then a first-time shot beat Karis Hopkins on the right-hand post. So there's no doubt about it that Brogan Hayes had a considerable impact since she's come on. And that just extend Rangers' lead to four goals to nothing. So Corey Hay now has it. There's Corey Hayes looking to make a pass, but there's nothing on, so she goes wide left. Laurie Gardner's available. I wonder if Laurie Gardner can get the ball into the box. She's faced up by Jenna Clark, but she's one-on-one. -on -one. She decides to go back to Corey Hay. Corey Hay might try and switch this one in. She does. There's a chance there at the far post. That just goes harmlessly out. As the referee blows his whistle for the end of the match. A match that has seen Rangers win comfortably in the end by four goals to nil. Although Hamilton were in the game at one nothing for a substantial period of time. However, another game goes by. Hamilton, no points as yet. However, there must have been encouraging signs there for the next time the team takes to the field. Okay, that's the end of the match highlights. I hope you've enjoyed the game today from New Douglas Park. And we'll see you again next time. In the meantime, it's goodbye from me, match commentator, John Mathers.